here is another Cherico and a very interesting one in that I've never had someone request the Fawn Coral character before. So basically like the upper part um, human and the lower part uh, Coral. <laughs> so um, uh, here is the information that is in the encyclopedia um, and benefit members have access to the encyclopedia which is basically um, a list, a collection of all my species, well, all my species from the past year and onward in the future, <laughs> but I have hundreds of species. Oh, sorry. Anyway, um, so first, uh, there, this species, um, they have two to three different coral at them at birth. And I remember creating it. I knew I wanted like something to to be, you know, both like a good mix and not just a, a collage, a messy slap together piece. So um, uh, their species have two to three different curl in them at birth, and two is average, three is rare, and more than three, even more rare, but definitely possible. And this character has the their three is the legs. And generally, they all have the leg curl, and they have the back and the eye, as you see. Uh, I just wanted to um, add, you know, something actually felt like unbalanced to just have um, the legs and the back. And I just thought it would be interesting to see, okay, what would happen if um, the eye. So um, having the eye curl runs risks of growing out of the eye and spreading. And so that's what happened with this character. <laughs> um, there's um, just happened to come from, it's like grow out of the eye. And it may sound like it'll be disgusting, but actually like beautiful. <laughs> and they add on more coral and etc. as accessories. And so um, also I, this character was, um, they wanted androgynous. And so I gave them flat chested but made them a feminine facial structure and um, the genitals are up in the air <laughs> so um, I figured with the coral they're technically both you know a bit so um, and so they attach to the bedrock and they reattach at on rim like at a rim and so they can control so I'm thinking the babies they are always attached and as they get older once they mature only when they mature can they detach and reattach um, and the older they are the easier they can so um, when in motion they appear like they could be jellyfish and they're I'm thinking the corals like they move as if they're soft but they're really still hard and um, the coral bits soft, yeah. The coral bits soften when detached from the bedrock and hard when attached. They can stay in one spot for years if they want it. Um, a majority prefer to staying in one spot for life, um, but those who remain detached often are called like anarchists, <laughs> like they're the rebels, and their hair float like water and feel soft to the touch, <laughs> um, and but can't have like a hand run through it unless. Um, one is a similar species so any other creature they can't like run their hand through the air it'll just be like rock or um, touching coral and it'll um, probably hurt uh, the person who's touching but if it's like their same species then they could run their hand through each other's hair as if it's um, like human hair oh and also with this um, client they requested lingerie and a fashion design and so with the lingerie uh, I wanted uh, again I wanted a mix of um, the a, both a feminine look and possibly a masculine look um, it probably just came out um, for feminine though and I figured um, the and also the so the aquatic life um, are hired to be fashion like the other aquatic life and <laughs> like they sign a contract either on how many times they can be used in a certain time frame 
or act as employees <laughs> uh, to the rare, uh, and they're paid with food and shelter. And um, plus hiring so many, especially as an employee, is a sign of money. So if uh, um, one of the species hires a lot, then that's like a sign that they're just rolling in the bank. And uh, and here I am with the so uh, that's what the so the lingerie was very simple. Um, it just had the um, extra bit of um, accessory um, plant um, coral uh, no um, anemones <laughs> yeah I had like at the anemones as the fashion and so here um, so they wanted um, an Asian theme for the fashion and I was thinking um, at first I, I was thinking um, so that I chose uh, India um, around uh, around the India region of sorts, um, like between um, the Middle East and um, India, but heavy on it, uh, India um, region, <laughs> and it just didn't look right, um, and so I was like, no, it should be more like you know aquatic based, and so that's why I made the shawl. I, I know that's the wrong time, I bet. But, um, you know, if in India culture, they have that, the female, the females tend to have that shawl. So I thought it would be cool if that was a jellyfish. <laughs> and so they hide, it's a very big jellyfish. It's not like a small one. And so um, I'm thinking they're probably bred for it. Um, or they're like raised to be fashion. But they're still paid. Like um, the other aquatic life that's used for fashion and sign a contract. And also... Um, so with the dress type thing, um, I'm thinking it's like, a, um, I, I can't remember the name, but, um, during this part, um, and with the wings also, because they, oh, they, they wanted wings for the character as well. And I chose, um, I don't know what it's called, but you know, the aquatic, the, um, plant, the sea life that. Um, it looks like leaves, but I swear it has like holes in it. And um, I forgot the name, but anyway, um, and I was really excited for this part right here. Um, I, cause as I was making the idea for the India themed um, for the Asian um, inspiration, um, I was like, oh, what if the fish was the flowy part of the Asian dress? And so <laughs> um, that's why. Um, I think this is prop this is prop this is definitely what took most of the time um getting the fish so you see I think in total probably 10 different fish <laughs> and so uh they're all um hired to just swim around the character and keep information <laughs> and when they're not needed they just um they're fed and um, they or they just go off and when and they're like they have I'm sure they have like a call or they're kept like in you know fish little like their pet a pet area <laughs> of sorts and so um and then the part the um character would just um call them and be like um this that that yeah like be uh this part or something like that they'll probably have code words or something like commands to like um, take this form and so um I was really uh, god I put way too much detail into this <laughs> and this took all my time but this also took a while to get to um I've been so busy as of late and so um I just wanted to do a little bit uh, extra anyway to make up for the delay and get into the um commission and so um, I did just did the pink. I knew uh, um, I knew I didn't want them to be. There wasn't going to be that bright pink. It was just a placeholder, the coloring of the fish, and so oh, and uh, with the um, dress parts. So that's like I'm thinking that's both um, a fabric they made out of um, the plants, and also it's um, huge um, seaweed type um, of thing to to make um that fabric ish thing <laughs> and um i'm thinking uh some of the parts are actually found metal um like from humans possibly um but um so 
it, it was so um, manipulated that it just didn't look like the original human part. And, um, oh, and here's the part that really took time. So I knew, I like to make sure things are integrated. Because uh, if you just slap it on there, then it just likes, oh, you just drew over what was already there. But to make it, like, incorporated and make it, like, work with the whatever other um, object is around, you have to, like, delete some parts and make sure it looks like it's going under some and go or going over some so some of the fish like they're just they wrap when they wrap when they uh they're literally swimming around um at um a, a fairly slow pace or a decent like school fish pace and um they're like weaving in and out between the fabric and such um mostly the kid fishes <laughs> And I just came up with this. It, it's cool to think that it's literally a family of fish that they hired to be the dress. And so the parents are like trying to tell the kids to keep information. And the kids keep playing around between like the fabric. While the adults like have kind of like a set um, path they do. And so um, here, here's another thing that took time. I uh, went back and made sure, like, worked with transparency a little bit. Uh, even though I think most fish fans aren't, but aesthetically, it looks better <laughs> to, <laughs> to um, take these little, like, steps that isn't exactly real. And plus, these fish aren't um, based on any actual fish, really. Um, I just had to... I just went with kind of goldfishy type koi ish, but they're huge. So um, and go you know, and I was just going back and forth, and so um, also I I thought it was too plain the lingerie with that um, it's the same kind of um, fabric seaweed that's in the dress, and so um, I thought it would be cool to have sea urchins, and oh. And I, I will always remember the sea urchins I saw um, before. And the biggest one I saw, oh, uh, he was just huge. And but anyway, uh, yeah, I like sea urchins. Uh, they just be minding their damn business. <laughs> and, um, so, uh, and I thought it would be cool uh, to have a black and the purple, um, pinkish type um, deal. And so, again, um, oh, and I thought it would be, so the, the client wanted front, back, and side view, and I figured it would be cool. Oh, yeah, let me go back to, like, the idea behind why one is, like, completely attached. So one is completely attached to the bedrock, and the set, I figured the second could be them detaching a bit from it. And then the third is them completely detached, um, about to swim off. And so, and I thought it would be cool. So you could see, um, some of, some of these, their coral is actually attached, um, later in life. Like, so the, I think the, that aqua color, that's their original, um, black coral. And that pink, that's an attachment they put in, um, and so that's the attachment they put in later um but it's a permanent attachment i figure it would be interesting if uh they could have permanent and um um semi permanent uh temporary attachments but this one's permanent and um kind of like a tattoo <laughs> so that could be their version of a tattoo and you see um that kind of leaf thing with the holes yeah that's what i did for the um wings and so, um, and the, so that would be like the second coral type plant that they're born with. And it actually helps them swim better. So it's kind of like how I love drawing my mer, um, folk as with wings being their fins. Cause that just makes sense to me. And plus it just looks, I love the aesthetic of it. And so, um, I figure, oh, have that for the coral. Like, that would be really cool. And so, um, <laughs> see, a lot of detail went into this. Like, just looking at me, um, we select all these the little details and add. And I tried, you see how messy it is? 
like if this was a pro piece like a um, professional quality then I'd want to go back and clean it up but I'm, I'm kind of like trying to step away from being too clean with coloring anyway so yeah that's a whole nother discussion so let me just stick to this one and um, I figure it would be cool if they had a um, scar on the side of the head <laughs> Uh, I like scars um, and I thought it would be interesting if they were a fighter of some sort too but um, damn I gave them ass ass and ah, this was so fun and uh, very interesting to do I love the idea of um, that came up with for the coral people <laughs> and you can see uh, the finished uh, lingerie and I figured some coloring is in their hair as well as part of their fashion. And there's all the little fish, the fish dress, and the little babies like playing around when they should be working. <laughs> so thank you so much. And please feel free to subscribe and place an order for your own character design. And you could even use the same um, species. But uh, thank you so much and bye.